I built an algorithm that takes care of me better than I can take care of myself. And the algorithm is measurement to science to protocol. And it serves my interests better than I can serve my own interests. We have been the same homo sapien for thousands of years. Not much has changed. Our technology has changed, but we in our basic construction have not. And it's funny because you know, we humans say we are the most intelligent species on this planet, yet we commit a tremendous amount of self-sabotage on a routine basis. And over our entire lifetime, we may make the same mistake thousands of times, and we are helpless to stop repeating that mistake. I was 60 pounds heavier than I am now. The stresses of life would come crashing down on me every night at 7 p.m. I'd exercise in the morning, do well all day, then 7 p.m., all the stresses would just be like a ton of bricks. And I would address my overwhelming stress by overeating. I would try to bury my stress with food. And I was absolutely helpless to try to fix it. I mean, I tried everything. I would tell myself all day long, I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. And that moment came and like, oh, but just tonight, tomorrow you can start. And like, you know, we all know the excuses. And so one night I just playfully said, evening Brian is fired. 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Brian, he's fired. He has no authority to eat food uh, under any circumstance. And uh, that led to me to this idea that there was this possibility of dealing with my mind in a systematic way and keeping its powers in check and elevating other parts of self. When I identify Evening Brian, I'd say 95% of people instantaneously identify their version of Evening Brian. They all know it. Right? And whether it's like the goldfish person or whether it's the alcohol person or like whatever it is, they all have their vices and they all know exactly what I'm talking about. Everyone's got a, a colorful and fancy story on why they do it. It's just cover up. There's a power law of bad behavior. People typically have one or two things which they just can't stop, which then creates a cascade event where a bunch of other bad things happen because of it. The best thing is to identify that version of yourself and create a clearly identified profile, like this version of me appears under these circumstances. They have these kinds of arguments. They present this kind of rationale and they do these kinds of behaviors. And after they do these things, the rest of us, like morning Brian, afternoon Brian, dad Brian, look in the mirror Brian, like the hundreds of versions of other Brians, we all hate evening Brian because he ruins our life. And then when that character emerges, it's like, okay, you're evening Brian, and I know who you are, and I know the arguments you make, and I know the kind of behaviors you do, and you ruin everything for all of us. And then when you say no to evening Brian, you can just do that basic step and then watch yourself throw a tantrum right in front of your eyes. Like you're gonna kick and scream and beg, you're gonna come up with dozens of arguments of why you should still be in charge and why it's a crazy idea. Just watch yourself throw an absolute tantrum. But you have to really separate yourself from mind on this. And then once you do so, again, like liberating me from myself has been the best thing I've done in my entire life. I think a lot of people, when they see what I'm doing at Blueprint, people assume that I'm not happy or can't be happy or impossibly. It's almost like they want me to be sad because they don't want to see that it might be a good idea for them to change themselves. And it's going to be much easier if they can just say he's miserable and it relieves them of any kind of feeling of having to do anything. But I've never been happier in my entire life. I've never been more at peace. I've never been in a better state. And it gets counterintuitive. Like I took the thing that all of us consider to be the most precious thing in existence, and I took away its authority.